Fifth Inning Showdown Tutorial. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca, back at the Church Chewbacca, and today we're going to go over the fifth inning showdown, and I'm going to explain to you how to beat that Nolan Ryan. I know this is coming out a few days late, well, more than a few days late, I've been really, really busy over the weekend, and I know I've been saying that a lot, I actually am going to amp up my content creation starting today when this video comes out. This video is about the fifth inning showdown, to knock that one out for you, let's get into it. First and foremost, we have to know how to get to the showdown. Obviously, I'm in the fifth inning program screen, as you guys can see. And you just want to hit X or A to get over there. If you need to get to the fifth inning showdown from the beginning, when you first log into the game, you want to go from home to play, which is R1, L1, or right bumper, left bumper, single player modes. Oh, scroll over to showdown, and then you want to go to the fifth inning showdown. And then it's going to cost you 500 stubs to get in here and start going through this showdown. And obviously, it's going to enter you into the draft that we will go over quickly about who to draft. First round here, it does not matter who this is unless it's Vladdy Jr. Then you got to pick between Vladdy Daddy and Vladdy Jr. But right now, there is no Vladdy Jr. over there. We're going to go with Vladdy Daddy, Vladimir Guerrero Sr. here in his Montreal Expos jersey where he absolutely rakes. That's the guy we won this round. And the next round... It's really up to you. Do you want to go with Aaron Hicks? Do you want to go with Vogelbach? Do you want to go with Juan Makata? I'm going to go with Makata. I like his swing. He's a switch hitter. I do think Vogelbach, though, is great for power. Actually, we're going to go with Vogelbach. He has a glitchy swing. He has great power, even though he has low contact on the 56. We'll go with Vogelbach. I do think Makata is a good option here. But I think Vogelbach with that power might be better. Actually, no, we're going with Moncada. We're going to go with Moncada. I, it's, it's between the two. I'm going to go with Future Stars Moncada here. I just like his swing too much. Into the third round here, you still want to pick a hitter. Now, with Kelnick being an option, I think that's who I'm going to go with. Although, I do think Jimmy Rollins is definitely a better option than Holland and Neuhauser. So, I'm going to go with Kelnick here just because he's an option. But I do think Jimmy Rollins would be the pick if this is not a better choice than Jimmy Rollins. But Kelnick it is. Now we get into the next round here, and this Ty France is a monster. Jonathan Scope has a really good swing, but I do think that Ty France is probably the answer here when you're looking at the numbers, and that's who I'm going to go with is Ty France. As for this, it looks like you have to pick a pitcher. You want to pick the guy with the best hits per nine and K per nine, which overall that is looking like it's going to be Joey Wentz for me. So we're going to go with Joey Wentz, the, the prospect. Then we got into the silver. Just pick the best silver. Whatever guy you think has the best attributes. Nate, L Nate Lowe, Nate, Nate Lau is going to be who I'm going to go with here. I, you're just picking the best silvers. Once again, this is pitchers. Ooh, wow. The hits per nine and K per nine on Tay J Antone's not bad. Paul Seawald's not bad either. I'm going to go with Seawald with the higher K per nine in case we got to get some strikeouts. This last one right here. Wow. How Suarez has fell off from diamond to bronze. Wow, the the man, the myth, the legend, the only man to ever do that. We're going to go with Suarez. Like his swing, even though his numbers are low. As for this one, now, you're looking at a diamond perk here. Oppo Taco or Heart Attack's probably the best for right now. However, I'm going to go with Rally Time because it's going to give you a boost, a huge exit velocity boost while losing. Who knows how much we're going to be losing in these early missions. However, I think Rally Time is the option here if out of these four i do think though oppo taco might be a decent one it might be a better one because you'll get to use it all the time but i'm gonna go with rally time because it's a hard one to get and it is going to be important for the final showdown at least make sure you activate your perk from the manage perks go into your manage squad make sure all of your best players are at least in the lineup and it looks like they are. Lau is there batting second. We want to get Moncada, France, and then that's how we'll do our lineup. You want to get your best hitters hitting early and often. I'll actually put Guerrero there because you are probably going to start off with them. So you want to make sure that they get at bats. You don't want to put them too far down in the lineup. You're not trying to win a game here. You're trying to win challenges or methods. As you guys can see, I bought my man Goose Gossage. Just got him into the bullpen from the rank seasons last time around now this is going to be our lineup for right now don't worry about the commons i'm going to knock out all of these mini missions go over them like i always do with all these videos let you know what the pictures are and then obviously you can see there is a mini showdown and then we got the final showdown here that is going to be against nolan ryan's the texas rangers but let's knock out all of these 
as you guys can see, we're at 0 to 15. Once I knock these all out, I will be back here shortly to explain all the mini missions as well as the mini showdown and the final showdown with some gameplay against my man, the hard-throwing Nolan Ryan. See you guys shortly. All right, guys, as you can see, we made it to the final showdown here, and honestly, it was not a great run at a 15 to 9 clip here. We have a pretty good squad because I did get the missions at the end, but honestly, 15 to 9 against Nolan Ryan can be a little bit tricky. We're going to see if we can do it. We're going to do some game play here. Looking at it, go over all the mini missions, and we'll go over my squad as well as the perks. I got really good perks this time around. As for the first mini mission, we got Guerrero's just hit, and this is Vladimir Guerrero led the NL in hits in two at 206 while hitting 39 home runs so you want to get two hits including a home run in three innings without giving up a home run you're going to be facing Patrick Corbin from the Washington Nationals because obviously Vlad Guerrero Sr. played for the Expos which turned into the Nationals for the next mini mission you have Little Joe Big Awards so it's about Joe Morgan. You have to tally four base hits without giving up a home run in two innings. And you're facing Sonny Gray. I couldn't get the four total bases. It happens. It's only on rookie. Not too bad of a mission. I only got three total bases. To the next mini mission, the Ryan Express facing Nolan Ryan on rookie. You have to get two total bases in two innings without giving up a hit. It's the signature series. Nolan Ryan didn't get the job done. Looking at Vlad the Impaler, back to a, Vlad back to a Vladimir Guerrero mini mission and it is six total bases in three innings you are facing steven strasburg not a bad pitcher he only really throws one pitch a lot for the computer and that's a four seam fastball he throws it about 96 pretty easy to hit next mini mission is nolan makes the rules facing nolan ryan with his seventh no hitter at age 44 get one hit in the final inning of the game to avoid the no hitter and once again you're facing that nasty nolan ryan that we're going to be facing in the final showdown here from the texas rangers then you got the mini showdown versus Newhauser and Hal Newhauser is not a bad pitcher. He does throw pretty hard. Obviously, you're going to be facing him. You have to get two runs with a man on third base before getting 10 outs. I think it's pretty easy. He throws it hard, and then his curveball is very slow. He hung two curveballs against me. I put him in the gap. That's how I scored my two runs. I obviously scored the guy from third, and then two doubles gets another run scored. Next mini mission is the little general talking about Joe Morgan again on rookie. Get on base. Two times in two innings, you are facing Tyler Mayo. We faced him before in some other showdowns. I don't think it's that hard of a mission. Next is another mission I failed. OGs, oh, anyone but Holland. Facing Greg Holland's card, that's the 91 overall that has just popped up on the screen. You have to get a run in a save situation. I don't think it's that bad of a mission. I just hit the ball hard and did not get anybody on base in the first three batters. Then we have Vogelbombs only. Talking about Daniel Vogelbach. And he had 30 home runs for the Mariners. Play with your showdown squad tally. Four total bases in two innings. You are facing Logan Gilbert's live series card. Not too hard to hit. Just couldn't get the four total bases. Now we got future star, turn star. Talking about Juan Mancata. And you're looking at playing with your showdown squad tally. Two hits, including one extra base hit. You're facing Lucas Giolito. We got the job done here. It took us all the way into the third inning as you get three innings. Obviously, didn't give up a run pitching. I think I actually struck out six straight guys. Looking at the next one is A.A. Ron for the dub dub win or the WW win. And you got to get a home run. I hit one with Vlad Sr. here against Jamison Talion. I don't think it's that bad of a mission. Man, I, so many Pirates pitchers on the Yankees nowadays. Now at the final showdown versus Nolan Ryan, we are going to have to score six runs, actually seven runs with 20 outs. We'll see if we can get it done. I'm going to give some gameplay. Hopefully I don't botch it here. We'll see what happens. Looking at my squad... We have it already all loaded up. We got Bryce Harper, MVP card, leading off. Then we have Vladimir Guerrero, Sr. Then we have Aaron Judge's Team Affinity 3 card from the All-Star game. We got Miguel Cabrera's throwback from when he won the Triple Crown, 92 overall. We got Juan Moncada's Future Stars, 91. Jarek Kelnick, that is the Prospects card, 90 overall. Then the Ty France tops now. Reese Hoskins, Joey Wentz was the pitcher. We'll probably sub in Adolis Garcia's live series or maybe Andrew Benintendi. We'll see how that goes. As for the perks, I will say we had really good perks. These are some of the best perks in the game. Rally time is huge. Exit velocity while losing. We're going to be losing for a while in this showdown. And then hero time in the seventh inning or later, you get exit velocity boost as well. We're going to be in the seventh inning plus every single time. Hero time is one of the best for showdowns when it comes to perks. And then we have inner peace, which is massive contact for pitches down the middle. So we're going to try to get some fastballs down the middle against this Nolan Ryan here. Let's see how we can do it. Go into the gameplay here, and I'll see you guys shortly once the gameplay starts up.
All right, so we're in the gameplay here against the Nolan Ryan to start. And as we'll pop in here, we've gone over the Nolan Ryan. We give him an in-depth true review, right? Or at least talked about why you should pick him. No, we gave him an in-depth true review. We talked about how he's nasty. So you're looking at the four-seam fastball. It's going to go 102 as he does have the outlier one port. And he's going to have a good 12C, 12-6 curve. He's going to have really good pitches. It's just something we are going to have to work through. He has good hits per nine, good K per nine. We're going to be very patient as he is a little wild, but he's not super wild. So that's going to be my advice is be very patient and get some. But he does have really high stamina, so we might not be able to run off the pitch count on him and cause him to be fatigued. Those are the fastballs we want to hit, though, the 102s that are right down the middle. Actually, one second. I know he's in the middle of his windup. Let me move my camera so you guys can see a little bit better. Hold on as I mess that completely up. And we want to get webcam here. We want to move my ID mug over here so you guys can see better for the game. All right. As you can see, I just moved my camera, popped it over there, and we're still facing Nolan Ryan. It's only the second pitch. He got me right there. See? You're looking for that fastball up and in. He hits you with a change up, and it's just it's going to be a mess trying to hit him. biggest thing with him is you want to make sure you're hitting strikes you not want to let him strike out a bunch of guys because if he strikes out a bunch of guys his confidence is going to get way up and the confidence is going to make it very hard to get hits on him not a bad start i don't think that's down though oh it is in between everybody they still had joey gallo out there they would have had a shot no joey gallo out there for texas and right field definitely played out well we were a little bit early but not too bad on the 12-6 curve. Now we got Vlad Guerrero Sr. here. Oh, get out. Nope, that's going to be foul. That's okay. It might be good to just attack the 12-6 curveball if he's going to keep hanging the bad boy. That's a fucking piss missile, boys. Let's go. i to figure out how to bleep that out. <laughs> That was a piss missile. Let's go. Just a little high. Got to squeak it out against good old Nolan here. Two oh, he's he's struggling on the mound. He's worried. Glad he took him on off the wall, and he's like, I don't know what to do no more, boys. Oh, just missed that one. I think I was a little behind. Yeah, very late dropping this guy. That should have been a homer. If I scored that one up, Judge was taking a Yahtzee. Man, come on, boys. Oh, he just blew it past me. Dropping the PCI again. What a train chimp. What a train chimp. Even the best can drop their PCIs, right? Not a machine. Oh, good pitch. That's where he'll get you. That was a good pitch by good old Nolan. As you can see, he's a little bit wild, though. He might be able to get some walks. Oh, oh, come on, Blue. Come on. Pinching me over here. Come on, man. Watch your cheeks, Nolan. Watch your cheeks. There we go. 15 to 11. We scored two runs and only two outs. Now it's going to be very important here that we don't hit into the double play. Want to make sure you hit a pitch up in the zone so you get it in the air. Anytime you got a man on first base, you do not want to get into double play trouble. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I thought that was a fastball. Oh, wow. Wow. That looked like... Yo. <laughs> that was so early. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. You're sitting, you're sitting fastball. I mean, what else are you going to do? Woo -hoo -wee. He threw the floater. the floater and then he blew the 102 pass lovely lovely 
confidence is low, though. He gave up those two runs, but man, he just, just blew it past me like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Outside, we've got a 2 0 count. Patience, patience. Patience. Gotta be patient. And we're late. And we're dropping PCIs. Drop it like it's hot. You would think my PCI is on fire the way I dropped that bad boy. Man, barely dropped it. Sky pop up. Kelvin's command. I'm not too impressed with this card this year. Come on, Ty France. Second thing. Circle changes now. There we go. That's a gap shot. Got another one. Let's go. That bitch! Why? Why? Oh man. Ay, ay, ay. Woo wee! I thought he I thought he struck me out. Take men on first and second. It's not the prettiest. It's not the prettiest, but we'll take it. Um, I wonder if I should go with Nate Lowe or if I should go with somebody else. You know what? We'll go with Garcia. Even though it's a righty-on-righty -righty matchup, we'll go with Adolis Garcia here. Oh, I see Adolis Ryan bringing that heat. Bringing the heat at 102. Focus here. We're focused. Oh, focus as he blows one past us. Man, at least I didn't drop the PCI that time. I mean, he would have popped it up, but. Like, I'm recognizing whether there's a ball or strike, so that's good. The eye's been pretty decent, but. I'm on it all day, boys. 102. That's heat. All right, walk them full, baby, for Brycey, and Brycey will walk you off. Or Adolis Garcia will take you, Yahtzee, baby. Let's go. Paying that circle change for the tie ball game. 15 15. Let's go. Dang, that circle chain, baby. Throwing it in the dirt. Nolan Ryan got no confidence. Bryce e. Harper, if I put a check into that one, it's out of here. Ooh, is that going to be trouble? It is not. It is not. All right, we're just a little late on the 102. That's fine. Missed it. Just missed it. I thought it was going to come back a little bit more. It stayed out. That's fine. I think he had those that Joey Gallo out there. 
We got one run to score with 15 outs. I think we can manufacture something. Something. Aaron Judge's big old strike zone here. That's a double. That's big right there. Productive, productive. Swinging bunt, broken bat, bunt. <laughs> productive, Miggy. You put him in a real pinch here. We got 14 outs at a fly ball. Is that deep enough? Who's back there? Oh, that's way off the line. Easy one, baby. Good dub. Let's go. Easy dub. We just score a bunch. As you can see, Adolis Garcia with the three-run homer on the hanging changeup. We got some extra stuff here. It's pretty nice. Beat the Nolan Ryan. As you can see, success for the fifth inning showdown. I apologize this took so long, guys. I mean, it's just I've been so busy with stuff. I'm about to knock out the Field of Dreams as well. I'm going to post this one tonight. The Field of Dreams will be out tomorrow afternoon when I get through that one as well. But 8 out of 12 mission successful. We still got the showdown success. 12 out of 12. Big time right there. As you can see, we got some big XP. Knocked it out, boys. I appreciate everyone watching. I hope this video helps you guys out. As you can see down a lot of runs, you can beat the Nolan Ryan as long as you are patient and take the pitches that you know you can hit, just like I did. Good luck to all of you guys. If you haven't completed this already, hopefully this tutorial helps out. As always, I appreciate all of your support. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with any of your friends that play MLB The Show 21. You guys have a great day, and be safe.